Alright, what's up guys? It's Brian from Cross Coast Gaming, and this is another Java game programming tutorial. So the last time we left off, we uh, implemented the draw method for our tiles, and uh, drew a couple up in the corner there with tile.draw and tile2.draw. What we're going to do this time is we're going to make a map that fills the entire canvas or screen, what have you, with tiles instead of just the two in the black, which kind of looks not like a tower defense game. So we're going to go to data and make a new class here. And I'm going to name it tile grid. And we only need one variable here for now. Public. It's going to be a double array of tiles called map or something similar. And we're going to create a default constructor for our tile grid here. And um, let's set the map to the appropriate dimensions inside of here. So if you're using the same dimensions as me for your screen, I believe it's 20 by 15 or 15 by 20. Um, if it's not 20 by 15, we'll find out. That'd be a terrible error. And we're going to do a double for loop in here, or a nested for loop. And so if you're not familiar with these, then I'm going to link to a tutorial I did earlier in an annotation on the screen right now. And you can check that out. But if you are familiar, this should seem pretty straightforward right now. We're just pretty much going through everything in our double array and filling it up. And we're going to set every tile for now in the map to a nice default grass tile. So the X position and the Y position will be their positions in the uh, array times 64, because that's how big the images are. And then for the tile type, we'll do tile type dot grass. All right, and the next thing we need to do is create a draw method here. Public void draw. And that is another nested for loop. So i equals zero, less than mapped out length. And then j. And let's see, what does that draw method look like? I'm gonna cheat, go to our tile. Draw quad text takes a texture, x, y, width height, okay. So it'd be easiest if we just made a dummy tile to work with. Tile t equals map at ij. And then from there we can use our draw quad text t.get texture get x y width and height. And we probably need to import, yeah, we need to import this. So if you go to the top, above our class declaration, import static helpers dot artist dot star. All right, looks like it worked. So now let's go to the boot class. Let's get rid of these two tiles there for chumps. Doing way bigger things, way bigger plans here. Go to the draw methods. And we're going to make a new tile grid. and you can name it whatever you want. And then inside of here, where we were drawing our tiles, we're gonna do grid.draw. And try that. All right, sweet, looks like it worked. So we managed to populate the entire screen with our tile grid. And what we're gonna do next time is start working on a way to edit it and make uh, custom maps. So thanks for watching, I'll see you